could you let the fans know that might not know that at one particular point, um, you was kind of banned in New York at no fault of yours. We had the Urban Plaza unfortunate incident, yeah. rest the banger, but yeah. then we had the punch in Urban Plaza too, and you took all the blame for yeah. the first of all the, the fighting that took place. You got kicked out of New York, and then yeah. the unfortunate incident happened. So that's one of the reasons why you had to go to Houston. You had to travel because you wanted. Yeah. The people don't know you want to stay home and you want to do shit home, but they home wasn't your home for a while. Let the yeah, people know right. what you went through with all that shit. First of all, New York City is just the like that state is just a fucked up state when it comes to business. Speak on it. Speak you know what I'm saying? As far as let's start with the taxes. Mm -hmm. Like if you live in the five boroughs, not only that you got to pay, you know what I'm saying, the feds, you got to pay the feds, federal income. Then you got to pay the state. Yeah. And if you live in the five boroughs, you got to pay the city taxes of New York City, bro. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? You getting hit from three different angles. Not to mention, you know, the venues and shit like that. They, they, they scared of us. They don't even want, they don't even want to give us the business. Like, you know what I'm saying? Even though I could pack that shit out with my eyes closed, yeah. have 2,000 motherfuckers come up in your motherfucking venue. Yeah, all right, it's a little rowdy, but everybody's coming in peace. Like, they just want to see what they want to see. You know what I mean? They scared of our kind. Like, you know what I mean? So, like, you know what I mean? I feel like, you know what I mean? New York has been discriminating against, you know what I'm saying, our culture. You know what I mean? When it comes to, like, underground mm -hmm. for years. So, it's hard for me to secure the venues necessary for us to have a successful event where it makes sense, where I can actually recoup the money that, you know what I'm saying, is basically being allocated out to make the event happen. You understand what I'm saying? Like, it's just a nasty market. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? All around the board. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then, not to even mention, like, I know everybody in the city, so, like, it's hard for me to tell niggas no. Yeah, yeah, I ain't got no Every bad time I, I can't <laughs> tell yeah. niggas, I just can't tell no to, because yeah. yeah. I, I was outside, niggas did a lot of shit for me. Yo, they good. Yo, he good. Yo, how much? Uh, he good. He good. I, I don't get no money in New York, bro. And and also, let the audience know that they might not know. They hear about it. Let them know how real them hip-hop police is. Let them know how man, real it is. Man, listen, man. I mean, I, I, I just... I They knew me for years because of what I did. Like, you know what uh -huh. I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, the guns and all type yeah. of shit. You know, yo, this person got hit. Yo, I heard it was on camera. I ain't had nothing to do... Yo, yo, her was on smack. Yo, get out of here. Like, I wasn't even out. You bugging. Like, they, 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 hip hop police is real. Like, you know what I'm saying? In case you don't know, but you know what I'm saying? You Let know, me... I know some hip hop police and they fuck with me. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, listen, yo, we're going to let you rock your smack. Just make sure this, 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 that, and the third. Okay. Right, I got you. Boom, 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 boom. That's how I was able to do what I, 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 I had to do for so many years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, this is you know, what I'm saying. So, you know, let me land on something real quick, Smack. You, you know, it being hard to do business in New York and those other factors that you talked about, is that when you started doing more stuff on the West Coast? Yeah, I was always on the West Coast. I was on the West Coast since, you know what I'm saying? It's Smack DVDs when I was oh, running sure. around there with Game and, you know what I mean? Game had me in Compton and, you know, um, you know what I'm saying? You know, BMF, you know what I'm saying? We was out there like, I was, we, 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 we had like a lot of ties, you know what I'm saying? Mitchie Slick and them, you know, fucking Mr. Cartoon, you know what I'm saying? On some tattoo artist shit. Like, you know what I mean? I was, I was real diverse with like, you know, the content that I was creating for the West Coast and giving them that look on the East Coast and around the world or wherever like my arms reached to. You know, I always felt that I was always a fan of the West Coast you know, movement as far as like NWA, you know what I'm saying? Ice Cube, you know what I mean? Easy E, you know what I mean? Dr. Dre, you know what I mean? The fucking one of the best, if not the best producer in the world. Like, you understand what I'm saying? So I felt that it was necessary for me to have that representation on my platform. So, you know what I'm saying? I made it necessary for me to make my way out there, being from the East Coast, you know what I'm saying? Just, you know, connecting dots and, Linking up with, you know what I'm saying, the real dudes out there on that coast and 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 really giving them that 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 proper, you know what I'm saying, um visualization. So everybody else from the south, from the east, 
from Central, you know what I'm saying, America, Europe, Africa could respect, you know what I mean, what, you know, the West Coast was about, you know what I'm saying? I had Nipsey Hussle, like, you know what I mean, before, you know what I mean, anybody, you know, you know, that, 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 that really, you know, took it there. Like, I got exclusive shit that I ain't even dropped with Nipsey yet, and I still got that shit in the tuck, you know what I'm saying? Because... You know, it, it, it's just something in a time that I felt that like he was just like the knives of fucking, you know what I'm saying? The West Coast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The knives. We of, love him. In, yo, we love him in New York. I don't think they. Yeah, not, yo, yo, we that, love him. yo, we Let's love see that nigga. Like, yo, you know what I'm saying? God bless the dead. But like, you know what I'm saying? Like, and it, 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 it's just like, he just reminded me so much of knives from the, from from the West Coast, it's just like yo, yo, dog, yo, come here, yo, yo, let's do some shit, like you know what I'm saying. But he was running around the East Coast like it was nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like he was outside for real. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. it was he all was, love, though. You know what I mean? Whoa. Yeah, he was definitely doing his thing. Now, when did you decide to branch off into the battle rap into URL? When did you decide to form that? What the what? The battle rap? Yeah, yeah. When did you decide to form your league? Oh, like that's after. That's after. Like you know, what I mean, I always wanted to represent the art form of battle rap because I felt mm -hmm. that it was like you know, what I'm saying, essential for that representation of the art form of lyricism to be fucking represented worldwide because that's what we grew up loving. I consider that hip hop. Like you know, what I'm saying, motherfuckers coming battling each other, exchanging rhymes, going bar to bar and shit like that. That's in me, you know what I mean? From high school when we used to be in a motherfucking lunchroom. Yo, yo, period seven, we in the lunchroom. We got these two niggas going at it, I bet. You know what I'm saying? You know, the whole school, they ain't even go to class. Everybody's in a motherfucking lunchroom just basically, <laughs> just like you want to see what's going on. So like that representation of like lyricism, I felt that was necessary for me to represent on my platform. You know what I'm saying? So on the DVD, I always made sure that it had its real estate on my DVD. At the end of the DVD, if you go to any Smack DVD, you go to the that last chapter, the end of the DVD, you always had a classic battle. That was my signature. So now when, you know, World Star came out 2008, 2009, you know, they started really blowing up 2007. 2006, 2007, World Star came out. God bless the dead Q. You know what I'm saying? Um, he really ran with, you know what I'm saying, the content online. He, he was just basically, he started his whole platform taking all our shit. Ripping our shit, facts. Taking all our shit. Facts. Yo, dog, I'm lying? You ain't lying, bro. You know, I, <laughs> we had, that's why we, that's we why had, we had the conversation. That's why, that's why we had beef with him. Yeah, facts. <laughs> I, yo, 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 yo. mother. Like, yeah. yo, how this nigga eating off, and, and the nigga blew and took it off. He took our shit, popped his shit off with our shit, and then said, so fuck y'all. It's taking every, <laughs> it's everybody sending him shit, so he ain't had to put no work in. Yep. You know what I'm saying? All the content on World, world Star could have been the biggest shit in the world if they would have produced their own content. Yeah. They yeah, never produced their own content, though. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it was like, it was just people, he grabbing clips or, he grabbed and clicked. It was smart. It was genius. Mm -hmm. It was genius, actually, because he ain't had to put the man hours, the labor, flying to the West Coast, flying to the South, getting up with these artists. These artists don't pick up their phones, bro. You got to call a million times before a motherfucker pick up his phone. That's why I stopped doing what the fuck I do. Yeah, you understand what I'm saying? Because it took me to, yo, I'm caught. I, I still to this day don't even call it like, Yo, bro, I don't call niggas more than two times, my nigga. Two times, child, just like me. Two times, I'm begging. I'm good, my nigga. I see okay. you when I see you.